In this video, I'm gonna go over how I do pull-ups from home in order to develop a bigger and stronger back. So let's jump right into the video. Hi there, my name is Derek and welcome to GamerBody. As someone who sits down all day playing games or doing work from 9 to 5, I understand the importance of developing your back in order to get proper posture as well as fill out your entire physique. Your back is one of those muscle groups that really can change the way that you look overall as well as greatly improve your overall strength. A great body weight and weighted exercise is the pull up in my opinion. Using a lot of your upper back to do this movement as well as your biceps, this exercise is great in many ways to developing a greater pull function for your body. This is an overhead style pull where many other back exercises are more horizontal to the ground, but this is one that you can implement into your training to again assist in providing another variation for your back development. And with that, let's jump into what you may need in order to do the pull up from the comfort of your own home. So in order to demonstrate this exercise, I am using a doorway pull up bar. The exact one in this video is the Perfect Fitness Multi Gym Doorway Pull Up Bar Pro Edition. Now there's many other pull up bars on the market that you can buy, but if you're looking for a doorway pull up bar, I think this one is the best of the best. And you can check out a link to the product in the description below. And that's all you really need. Of course, if you want to buy something else like a tower or even just use your tree outside, go ahead and do it with that. But just make sure that whatever you use, it is stable and secure on your door frame, branch, whatever it might be. You don't wanna be coming crashing to the ground when using whatever you're doing to do your pull-ups. With that out of the way, let's take a look at how to do the pull-up. First, I want you to be about one step behind the pull-up bar where you're going to center yourself on where you'll be lifting and focus on getting in position and ready to do the pull-up. Next, take that step forward and grab the pull-up bar about shoulder width apart, um, gripping it tight with your hands and getting your head under the middle of the bar for proper placement. For a pull-up, you're going to have your palms facing away from you in order to do the movement. So make sure that you again are gripping the bar tight with your palms facing away. And I would wrap your thumb around, no false grips here, especially if you're first starting out. You can later on when you become more advanced. From here, as I am using a doorway pull-up bar, I am gonna have to bend my knees and lower down to the ground in order to get to a full arm extension. Next, I'm gonna actually leave the floor by bending my knees and crossing my legs just a little bit in the back in order to stay off the floor and then get into our fully extended and ready to go position. Now, just before starting, I want you to retract your scapula and tense your back and shoulders in order to stabilize your body before doing the first pull. Now that we are in position, focus on your back attempting to do the lift on its own. Of course, you're going to have your arms helping you in assisting to get up to the bar, but use your back and contract it as much as possible while focusing on bringing your elbows down towards the ground. So focus, pretend like you're trying to pull the bar off the wall. Don't actually do it, but pretend you're pulling the bar down using your elbows in order to help lift your chest up to that bar. This is known as the contraction phase where you are contracting the back in order to help get your head up to that bar. I recommend that your chin actually go just above the bar, but if you can only get your chin just up to it, that is good enough for me before waiting for the descent. Now, once you've got your chin up to the bar, I like to hold it for a second or two, and then while under control, slowly lower back to the ground. You can make this like a rep count of maybe just a second or two as you again lower back down to the starting position. And that includes one entire pull-up rep. So complete as many reps as you need for your set in order to complete your training. A quick note here, again, make sure that if you are using a doorway pull-up bar, that the one you are using is absolutely secure. It's not moving around at all. For me, it is secure on the wall and you may even have these little metal pieces that help to protect it from falling off the wall just in case something happens to your frame. Also, make sure you're not exceeding the weight of your doorway pull-up bar. There is no need to take any unnecessary risks. Make sure that the doorway pull-up bar is secure and that you're not crashing to the ground because we want to avoid injury at all cost. All right, now if you are someone who has never done a pull-up before or you struggle to get to doing a lot of pull-ups, here are some suggestions I have in order to progress with your training as someone just starting out. So the first variation you can do is a chair assisted pull up. Simply pull up a chair. In this video, I'm using my computer chair that I just rolled up under it in order to put my feet on it to remove some weight while doing the pull ups. For me, this tends to be the easiest version as you can press off 
the chair to help assist you getting up to the bar. Don't make it too easy on yourself, just provide minimal assistance, but this does allow you to actually learn the movement and bring your chest up to the bar. Again, making sure all the other cues are in place, but just taking a little bit of the weight off your bottom half. If you're good with those chair assisted pull-ups, now let's move on to band assisted pull-ups. For this, I'll be using the wad fitters bands, but simply loop it around your pull-up bar, put your feet in, into it, and use that to help assist you getting up to the bar. A quick note here, don't pick a band that makes this way too easy. Focus on it just providing enough assistance to help you get up to top the bar only if you really need it. And the last variation I have for you are eccentric or gravity style pull-ups. What you're gonna do here is grab the bar as normal and you're gonna actually jump your chin up to the top of the bar and slowly lower down to the ground, maybe like a two or three second count and then do it again. So you slowly lower down, put your feet back on the ground, and jump back up to the top, and repeat as many times as you want to in order to help learn and develop the back strength needed to perform a proper pull-up. Yes, this is only the lowering portion of the movement, but your back will still be engaged enough to still aim to build muscle if you're not at the stage where you can do any or many pull-ups. With that, let's look at some more advanced progressions for the pull-up. First off, if you really want to build a bigger back using pull-ups, you may need to increase your reps over time. The more reps that you do, the more volume that you complete. Just make sure that you are under control when doing these. If you're doing this from home, kipping is a bad idea. We don't wanna be doing anything really too fast. We always want to be in control when doing this. And that's especially true when using a doorway to, you, to do all of your pull-ups. And of course, the last progression would be to weight your pull-ups. For me, I prefer just using a simple backpack, taking my core fitness dumbbell plates and putting them inside it in order to add more weight to my body, which again would add progression and volume to my training. Again, make sure you're not going over the weight limit of your pull-up bar. So depending on where you are, you might not be able to add that much weight on, or maybe you're adding a ton of weight, I don't know. But if you wanna use this as a progression, make sure that you are staying safe. And again, I like to use a backpack. Of course, you can use a weighted belt, but I'm doing this from home in my small apartment and I don't have one and don't care to buy one. So I'm not gonna use one. I'm just gonna use my backpack and make things simple. With that said, I'm going to quickly rattle off a few other versions of the pull-up that you can do while using it with your doorway pull-up bar from home. The first variety and one that can be done with this pull-up bar in general is the wide pull-up. Here you're gonna have your hands extra wide when doing it and that allows you to activate the back in just a little bit of a different way, but you can change up your hand grips and do that to help change up your pull-up workouts. Next, you can change up your hand positioning again while putting your palms facing towards you in the chin-up. Here, you're gonna be activating a lot more of your biceps with this version, but just know that this is an easier version for me than a standard pull-up, and if I'm going to do a competition, this is what I'd choose, just because the biceps get more involved. But again, we wanna be focusing this really on the back, so I would focus on doing pull-ups first, then maybe move to chin-ups if you just wanna change things up over time. Another variation that a lot of these home pull-up bars have are to use hammer style pull-ups. Now this is actually the easiest of all of them I think is on the list. Um, normal like playground bars aren't going to have this on them, but with the doorway ones, a lot of them do have the bars that come out towards you that you can do hammer style ones for. Now I like to do hanging style exercises with those, but in terms of pull-ups, I don't do them all that much, but it is a variation you could do in order to continue uh, providing variations for your pull-up training. And with all that out of the way, now let's take a look at things I want you to avoid when doing your doorway pull-ups. Number one, no kipping. I covered this before, but please do not do kipping when doing a doorway-based pull-up bar as it's not secure if you kind of lunge up, it would come right off the door frame and you definitely get injured falling to the ground. We want to be safe in our training and do exercises for the long run, be consistent, so definitely don't do kipping style pull-ups. Also, make sure that you're not just falling back to the starting position from the top of the bar. So you've made it up to the top of the bar and you think you're awesome and you just kind of fall down, you're all excited. However, that's not really doing a full pull-up. The full pull-up is gonna be your, at the full hang and start, pull up to the bar with your to your chin, then slowly lower back to the ground before getting off or doing another rep. This way you're getting the best back development as long as you're focusing on the main cues of the exercise and you are going to continue to get bigger and stronger as you do them. Stop cheating, do them right, and then be consistent over time to see the results. All right, and that's it on how to do your doorway pull-ups from the comfort of your own home. As a gamer and someone, again, who has slouched over all day, 
Back development is essential in order for me to keep in proper posture as I used to have really bad forward rounded shoulders. So to help combat that, I do do a lot of back training and pull ups are definitely in there as a staple of mine in order to continue progressing, stay athletic, as well as get to my end goal. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Make sure you head over to GamerBody.com, there you can check out my current training program, the equipment I currently own and use, as well as the resources I am learning from each and every week to continue building muscle and confidence from home. And that's it. So again, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.